Okay, so uh, there's no way in heck I'm doing that again, so I'm going to just show you what I did. Uh, I didn't take because it turned out to be two gigs exactly, which caused Cam Studio to crash. So, the first thing we have to do when we're going to apply these textures is we have to actually fix the, uh, the draw brick method in our chunk, because it actually draws some of them upside down. So basically the core is, for all of these walls, for i.e. all of the non-roof and non-floor tiles, we need to set offset 2 to be vector 3 dot down. You could also make it vector 3 dot up and then reverse your coordinates when you're doing the uh, uh, UV assignment. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and make a vector 3 dot down so I don't have to make that change. And then since it's vector 3 dot down, you have to add vector 3 dot up to the start position for everything. That means that offset 1 is the one that changes. So you can either, either copy it from here, or you can go through face by face and uh, figure out which one is uh, uh, which direction you wanted to take with yours. So feel free to pause it and, and do this. It's it's not structurally changed at all. It's just which vectors are for what for what. All right. So when we go back over here to the block type, uh, the core difference here is that we have changed it from a vector two to an integer. And what this integer represents is uh, uh, block units. So if you say it's one block unit right and one block unit down, that actually means that it's uh, going to be uh, 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 it's going to be 64 pixels right and 128 pixels down. Um, because we're talking about human units here. These are for humans to assign slots in the file to the bricks. Uh, so then we have to actually create a UV coordinate, which we do here. Uh, and because of this, we have to actually do that. And I fr this is a bug that I didn't catch because I've only got one row of bricks, but we would have had problems later on when we have multiple rows of bricks. So basically, we create the UV map out of the texture right and texture down human units. Then we multiply those units by 64 because we're turning them into percentages. 64 divided by 1024, which is also 1 divided by 16, but we won't go into that. Uh, and now we've turned the uh, now we've turned these these human units into actual percents, and we can go ahead and do that. However, our our y and uh, our y coordinate is the opposite of their y coordinate. We're counting from the top, and they're counting from the bottom. So we have to invert that. I hope that's straightforward. Over here in chunk, we do have to change this area here. Uh, previously, we just got a vector 2, and then we added uh, like 0.125 or something similar. That's not, we don't need to do that anymore. We now have a precise number, 1 16th. So now we go ahead and we add the UV off instead of that number. These are all in the same places as the number, except for down here. We used to go ahead and have one of these to the left and one of these to the right, but now instead we've got one of them on the top and one of them on the bottom. So for the bottom one, that is the wall, we have to add. The, uh, we have to. You have to move it down, and then move it down twice as much. So you know, get the 64 pixels beneath rather than the 64 pixels on top. And it's all very straightforward. Uh, and you probably could have figured it out on your own, which is why I'm not going to go back through and type it up all again. I'm just going to show it to you, and you can either copy it or figure it out on your own. However, there were some gotchas, and so I'm going to share those for you now here in Unity. Uh, here is the tile map. Now this is the tile map we created, but there are a lot of things that you need to change. First off, you need to set it to true color rather than compressed, otherwise you're going to get a lot of weird effects. You also have to change it from bilinear to point mode. And clamp, you might not have to do that, um, but I recommend it. So let me show you what happens in bilinear mode. Oh, I have to apply it, that's right. So this is what I was talking about when I was talking about bleed. In bilinear mode, the... Uh, where did my mouse go? I seem to have completely lost control over my mouse. There. Uh, that that pop-up uh, uh, screwed it up. All right. So in bilinear mode, uh, what happens is when Unity stretches the texture to fit onto the mesh, it goes ahead and blurs the pixels as it stretches them. So you end up with uh, part of the block next to you working into your texture, which is obviously not what we want. Uh, so instead we go ahead and do the crisp point filter mode.
and we don't get those awful seams. Uh, now, some of the textures are still pretty awful even without those seams. Um, and those are things where you can go ahead and exercise your craftsmanship and build some good-looking texture maps. Uh, so here, I've actually added the brick in. Oop, I fell off. I've actually added the grass brick in. And this is where, in my first take, it took me about 20 minutes because all of these faces, where you see how the grass is nice at the top, at the on the walls you can see how it starts towards the top, all of those were wrong. They were upside down, they were sideways, they were tilted, it was crazy. Um, but they work fine if you do as I showed you in the beginning of the episode. Oh, and uh, as to how I actually create them, that's really straightforward. It's just like creating snow, so... I just, uh, uh, here, if, you, if you're not on ice or a desert, I just make the top layer grassy dirt. Um, and grassy dirt is defined as the dirt block named grassy dirt. <laughs> as you might guess, it's a new block I created called grassy dirt. See? Grassy dirt. So that's all I really did, except for my last take of it took me 25 minutes. So you get off easy, because that's all I'm going to do for today. Uh, you can feel free to go ahead and make your own tile maps and uh, create as many blocks as you'd like. What are we going to do next time? Hmm. Haven't decided. <laughs>